Yo, what is up guys? Lawson and Unbound here and today I will be bringing you another episode to my Cleveland Cavaliers Association. Real quick before I get to the game guys, I need you to comment down below. Do you think I should keep or trade Dion Waiters? He has a bunch of trade value so I can definitely get something solid in return and he's just not getting enough minutes. Jamal Crawford, he's been playing amazing so he definitely has earned a big portion of playtime and that leaves Dion not that much time on the court and I'm not too sure if it's worth to keep him. So let me know down below with your vote in the comment section. Should I keep Dion and try to develop him or should I trade him and try to get some serious talent back in return? Let me know. Now guys, I want to take a second to give a big thank you to all of you for all the support you've shown on this series. Out of all the series I got going on on this channel, none of them have even close to the amount of support as this one does as we break his ankles right there. Likes, comments, favorites, feedback, tweets, all that fun stuff, this series gets the most. So even though the series takes a bunch of time to make all the videos, it takes the most work to make one of these videos, I want to give back to you guys as a reward for keeping up this consistent support that I want to make this the most active series on my channel. I really want to push the pace with this. I'm not going to make it any less my career or my team videos, all that fun stuff. I'm not going to make any less of that. I'm just really going to push the pace and make this the most active one and try to get a bunch of these every week as we get the nice alley-oop right there with Josh Smith. Now back to the game, guys. The Denver Nuggets are an offensive juggernaut. I mean, it's not even fair. They make everything right there. We fake him out and get the alley-oop. Beautiful play right there. But they really make everything. Whether it's nasty dunks or trays with Gallo and Ty Lawson, they got the whole package. He thinks he's got an easy lane. No, sir. We will deny that right there. You're going to see it's a theme with this team that is Block City. We get tons of blocks as right there off the inbound pass. Gallo gets the easy finish on the inside 9 to 11 we're gonna go on the other end of the court and posterize the defender with Jamal Crawford let's take another look at that Jamal Crawford rising up 37 inches and posterizing the defender but guys this is a really close game throughout I mean the entire game back and forth he thinks he's got another easy finish get out of here I taught you the first time and you did not learn other end Josh Smith with the beautiful ending Right there, guys, Josh Smith. In the first two games, I've played with him since the trade. As we get a nice deal right there. He's been struggling a bit. And right there, one more alley-oop. Thank you very much. He was struggling in the first two games. But what I learned was really useful to do was move him to the small forward position. So you're going to be seeing him play some three. And he does so much better. He is a mismatch for all his, uh, all his defenders. So it's really worth putting him at the small forward. And you're going to see him play a lot better as we get the finish with Anderson Varejao. Irving with the spin and the, uh, not the finish, but he draws the foul. Now in this game, you can't really control the spin, so it's whenever the whenever the computer really decides to give you that animation, you can spin. We're going to kick it out to I or Kyrie for the tray, and it's off the mark by Josh Smith. Are you kidding me? It's over. It is game over. Look at that. Look how high up he is. Absolutely ridiculous. Josh Smith with the highlight of the day. 20 to 14. They have no self-esteem after that one. They have no self-esteem after that one. Kyrie Irving going down the court, and he's gonna get the tough finish. No foul on that one, but I'll take the bucket. Eight-point game. We really got to play some defense right here. But instead of that, we give Anderson, uh, not Anderson, whatever his name, Randolph, Anthony Randolph. The, uh, his name left my mind. He gets the easy bucket. Crawford going in for the drive and the reverse layup. Crawford is amazing at driving to the rack, guys. I mean, shake and bakes he gets in some games. Reverse layups, hop step finishes, and ones. That's what I love about him. Right there, Anderson Vergeau with the tip off the inbound, giving it to Kyrie. Nothing too flashy, but a simple fundamental finish. 11-2 run, 12-point lead. But this lead is not going to last for too long, guys. Kyrie Irving with the board. Smith on the other end of the court giving it to Bennett. And he will take the mid-range J. Anthony Bennett is really solid as well. I'm trying to give him more minutes because he is playing great basketball. Right there, he's going to get the nice and gentle touch to make it a 10-point game. Right there, we're going to kick it out to Smith, to Crawford, to Irving for the tray. Drain it all day, every day. We've been doing some really good ball move in this game. 18-6 to run, and that was great. I'm going to give him credit. I'm not going to complain. That was a nice play, a nice alley-oop by Kenneth Farid, I believe. Now we're going to give it to Kyrie. We're looking for some moves to Dion. Hop step into the paint and drawing the foul. 
Now he had an easy lane just to get the finish, but for some reason he hops up to the side. But that's okay, he's going to hit the first free throw. His free throw is a little bit longer, but I adjusted my release on the second one and get the A+. 12 point lead, they're looking to cut it down. He's backing me up in the post. Robinson for the tray, he will hit it. Now Robinson, Wilson Chandler, and Ty Lawson on his team as we get that nasty block. They were all hitting a bunch of threes as you will see. But right here Drummond with the two handed finish. Nothing too flashy, but a nice strong finish. Now in some of the dunks this game, as you can see, the rim, like the whole backboard kind of shakes. I really wish that if you use Shaq, it could actually break the backboard. I mean, that would be awesome. Right there, we're going to get another beauty of a play. 41-30, to 30, kicking it out to Hickson. He thinks he can get the finish, get out of here. Block dunk. Still 41-30. to 30. Chandler to Lawson to Robinson. Great ball movement. He deserves that shot right there. It is cut down to a four-point game after he hits a bunch of free throws. We're swinging it back, right back, left and right. We're going to swing the ball, and we will finally hit the three-point shot. Ball movement was definitely something that I've been working on this game, and I don't even know what happened there. I don't even know how did he get so easy down the middle, but he did. End of the third quarter coming up, down five, and he's going to miss that. We had a big hand in his face. Other end of the court, we're going to try to get some extra points. Barnes driving in and drawing the foul. We will hit those free throws, or one of those free throws at least. Now Kyrie Irving crossing him over and breaking the ankles of Ty Lawson. And to finish it off with a cherry on top, he gets the hop step finish. Let's take another look at that. Absolutely nasty. My favorite replay is right here. You get the best angle. Left and then crossing him over right, just destroying him. And then the nice hop step finish. Oh man, Kyrie Irving, he hits trays, he drives to the rack, he breaks ankles, he gets blocks. Is there anything that Kyrie Irving cannot do? Absolutely not. 47 to 39, Kyrie driving in again, hop stepping, and the, oh, not the bucket, but at least he draws the foul right there. Big free throws. I'm trying to close the game out. First one up and good with the A minus. Kyrie, not only is his free throw really easy, but so is his release. I mean, he drains threes, he drains free throws. It's always an excellent release, really easy to learn. That's what I love about him. Right there, weird pass to Chandler. I think I have a hand in there, but somehow he gets the bucket. It's an eight point game, three and a half minutes left to go. God, I just gotta close it out. I close the game out. There's nothing special I gotta do. I just need to make sure he doesn't go on a run. But what is he gonna do, guys? Just guess. He's probably gonna go on a run. Right there, he gets another alley oop finish with Kenneth Fareed. Five point game. Kyrie, how do we lose that ball? Anderson bears out with the dolphin dive. Back to Chandler. Other end. He's going. Dishing out to Fareed. And I don't even know what to say. Fareed just ruined the Cleveland Cavaliers right there. That was an absolutely nasty dunk. That was nastiness in itself. I'm not even too sure what was better, that dunk or the Josh Smith dunk. Let me know down below with a comment. Which one did you like better, the Smith or the Fareed jam? Right there, we're going to miss the excellent release. Robinson driving in. and the, I thought that was like a tough finish. I thought that was not going to go in or at least get blocked, but it did not. All of a sudden, it's a one-point game. Less than two minutes to go. I got the easy J, but he's going to miss it. Bears out with the board, kicking it off to Irving. All day, every day, he will hit that tray in the clutch. Kyrie Irving, absolutely insane game. He's been going off. Four-point game. Robinson going on the inside. Instead, kicking it out to Lawson. We're double-teaming him. I'm reaching in. I get the ball. Other end, we're going to go and give it out to our man, Deion Waiters, for the bucket. Big-time bucket by Deion Waiters. But the defense was the really, really the thing that stuck out on that last play. He gets the easy finish. How are we giving that up? I don't know. 54 to 40. I have throw a terrible pass. Turnover. Other end. Robinson. Can he make this a one possession game? He's going to dish it out. We almost get the steal. Lawson going up. But get out of here. Bears out with the deny. So many blocks this game. And none of them were even by Andre Drummond. Usually he's leading them. But this game it was everyone else with the blocks. For the big time shot he gets the bucket. Two point game. Kyrie Irving, you're going to take these free throws. Everyone already knows that. You got to stay consistent. Can he come up in the clutch? First one up and good. A-plus release. Second one, the biggest free throw of the game. Up slightly late, but he will drain it because he is Mr. Clutch. Four-point game. 11 seconds to go. He's chucking it down. Dangerous pass for the tray. I'm sorry, but no, sir. We're going to get this W at the end of episode 7, I believe. Actually, no, episode 7 is my my career. This is the end of episode 5. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Once we get 75 likes on this episode, I will upload the next episode. But in total of likes, let's try to go for 100. Let's hit triple digits. I know LNU Nation can do it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to join LNU Nation for your number one source of all NBA 2K14 gameplay and coverage. Keep up with the series and everything on this channel. Or if you want to uh, try to get a game in with me on Twitter and follow me over there. Make sure you comment whether you think I should trade or keep Dion Waiters. And as always guys, I'm Lost and Unbound and have a great day. Peace out.